All right, now I wanted to do a video on the meaning behind all the inlays and everything on this banjo. I wanted this banjo to represent Jesus Christ. And I think it does that beautifully. And it is a testimony of itself. It is a testimony. And when people see the things on here, they'll think, what is that? Why? Why is that? And you know, uh, I imagine it'll be a conversation piece as well. And that is great because it gives me a chance to share the gospel with people. But I've got, I've made a few notes here to help me. Uh, and I'm sure I'll mess some of this up, but uh, I pray for grace from you uh, about this. But, okay, where I wanted to start is the descending dove, okay? You know, the first instance in the Bible of a dove is in Genesis chapter 8, when Noah releases a dove out into the world. And the second time he releases it, it comes back with a sign of life on earth again after the flood, okay? It comes back with an olive branch, and that's what you see clutched here in, uh, in the descending dove's beak there. Um, now, the main significance I wanted to get at here was the descending dove, okay? And that in the Bible represents the Holy Spirit, okay? And it's mentioned three times in the Gospels uh, where John the Baptist has just baptized Jesus and Jesus comes up out of the water and the Holy Spirit descends upon him like a dove, okay? And the verses for that are Matthew 3.16, Mark 1.10, and Luke 3.22, Okay, so this is the Holy Spirit descending down like a dove, okay? And it's beautiful, all right? So that's the first one. Um, then we come down here to the lilies, all right? Now, when Jesus did his Sermon on the Mount, uh, first, first off, what does the lily represent? Okay, purity, cleanness, uh, hope, rebirth, okay? resurrection you could say all right so what happens the lily is a bulb that sprouts as the first thing that sprouts every year in spring right and in the bible jesus often talks to everyone in parables and things that they are dealing with and see in front of them he talks to them and symbolize uses symbols you know uh for things that he's talking about so on the sermon in, uh on the Sermon on the Mount, he's telling us uh, how to pray, how to fast, how to live, how to ask for forgiveness, all sorts of things. That's in chapter 6. Um, yeah, 628, Matthew 628. Um, so he gets down and he starts talking about the lilies. And the lilies would have been in bloom at the time he gave the Sermon on the Mount. And people would have been able to see that around them, okay? So, uh, he tells us to consider the lilies of the field and see how they bloom and how they do not toil. They don't worry, they come, okay? And that's part of God's beautiful, glorious creation. And um, it's a symbol of the sinlessness of Jesus Christ that white flower that is so fragile uh, yet it comes every year okay so that's what the lily is for and I think that's beautiful all right now we turn back here all right and this is the first thing that I wanted and the first very first thing that I thought of when I was gonna uh, custom order this banjo and that's the stripes. That's the stripes in that beautiful maple. All right? And what do stripes represent? Stripes are what they would refer to uh, when they would beat prisoners and slaves. Okay? So they would call them stripes. And what they would do is they would have braided leather whips 
and at the end of the whips there would be shards of pottery or stones and um, things that would tear flesh so when they would beat that person it would be agonizing and it would take a long time to heal um, terrible terrible thing to do well Jesus was given stripes. <laughs> I'm tearing up just thinking about it. And uh, by his stripes, we are healed. <laughs> um, in Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by his stripes, we are healed. Um, Jesus was, you know, given that agonizing death and beaten and humiliated for you so that you could be saved. You are a sinner and uh, just like me, you're a sinner and you need salvation. And the only thing you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial and resurrection. Okay, and that free gift of salvation is yours. These represent the stripes that he took. And uh, the Apostle Paul was beaten five times as well and given stripes five times. 39 stripes, 39 lashings. Because 40 was considered too much at the time. Uh, that was considered cruel, but anything less than that was acceptable. So, that's what the stripes represent. All leading down to God's finished work on the cross. Now, this cross is blue. It's turquoise, actually. But, it represents something as well. And there's a turquoise stripe here in this armrest. And that represents the living water. Jesus is the living water. Uh, in, where is it at? In John 4, 14. That's the woman at the well. And Jesus tells her that if she drinks of his water, she will never thirst again. And that's the water of Jesus Christ. The living water. Okay? That is our salvation. And this finished work on the cross that he did for every single person. Right? So, uh, I just wanted to take a moment. I'm sorry for breaking down there. I can't help it. <laughs> but I just wanted to take a moment and talk about... And talk about the significance of this. It means a lot to me. Uh... Sorry, I'm still choked up about it, but it means a lot to me. And uh, you know, another thing that it represents is the lightness of the maple is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And uh, you know, the contrasting light and darkness is really cool here too. Um, and each thing that I've put on here and thought about um, really to me represent Jesus and I'm happy to do that and I love talking about my Lord and Savior so uh, yeah I wanted to make a video to tell you about all these little things and what they mean to me and uh, so that every time I'm playing this I'm thinking about Jesus. And every time someone asks, hey, that's a cool dove. Why, why is it facing down? I can explain to them why. And I can tell them about that. Why is there a green, greenish blue cross? Well, I guess it's blue. I, I don't see color too awful well, I guess. Why is there a blue cross on the back there? What does that stand for? What does that mean? What about all those stripes? Uh... So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And I always want to remember...
can't even talk, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.